Hello, welcome to Manipal Center of Robotics Excellence, Dubai. Today we shall demonstrate the working of a DC motor using MyRio and LabVIEW. First of all, let's look at the MyRio. I got with me NI MyRio 1900 series student embedded device. This tool you can use to teach and implement multiple design concepts with one reconfigurable IO Rio device. Featuring IO on both sides of the device in the form of MXP and MSP connections, it includes 10 analog inputs, 6 analog outputs, 40 digital IO lines, Wi Fi, LEDs, a push button, an onboard accelerometer, a Xilinx FPGA, and a dual core ARM. Cortex A9 processor. Well, I got with me now a motor driver L298N series. This motor driver can drive control up to two motors of 2 amperes each in both the directions. It's basically an H bridge which is an interconnection between the motor and the MyRio. Okay then, let us start interfacing the motor H bridge and MyRio with LabVIEW. Let's connect the power supply the inbuilt uh, DC power supply cable which is uh, available along with a complete kit of uh, National Instruments MyRio 1900 series. Let's plug in the USB cable into it. Well, next forms one of the very important connections how to interface the motor, the H bridge and the MyRio. So we have a DC motor, a very simple DC motor which runs from 6 volt to 12 volt. We have two positive and negative uh, power supplies wherein you switch the power supplies they turn in the anti-clockwise and the clockwise directions. Coming to the H bridge one of the very important parts we have enable A the initial pin which will be going to the PWM of MyRio we have INT1 and INT2 that is 1 and 2 will be going to pin number 11 and pin number 13 of MyRio. Let's start the connections. So let's connect a female to female connector. So this is an enable A which goes to the pulse width modulation pin. That's pin number 27. And the best way and the easy way to count the numbers here, it's already marked with 1. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and this is pin number 27 let's take two female to female jumper cables and this goes to pin number 11 and input 2 goes to pin number 13 well we have the motor out 3 and out 4 which goes to the two terminals of the motor so let's connect to two terminals of the motor and after the rotation we can judge and control the clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Well, the another very important component is uh, the plus 5 volt. Since it's a uh, male to male fin, let's give a female to female converter. And plus 5 volt is readily available with MyRio out here, the corner one plus 5 volt. The center pin goes to the ground and the circuit is partially complete. Please note that there is a jumper, jumper cable the jumper pin at this particular slot it always should be closed 
Let us connect this to plus 6 volt as the motor require maximum of 6 to 12 volts for the uh, to drive. So let's connect this to the battery pack of 6 volt to the positive one and the negative and hence it completes the circuit. They are all now set and ready to program NI Myrio using LabVIEW. Let's go to create project. Click on NI Myrio, Myrio project. You can see an option plugged into USB as we have connected Myrio with the USB. There's also option for connected over Wi-Fi. If you configure the Myrio with the Wi-Fi, let's click finish. We're almost done with the setup. As you can see, NI Myrio specified over here 1900 series. Right click, new, create a VI. And next, let's have a shortcut key control T to have the front panel as well as the block diagram parallel to each other. And let's start programming. Let's go to structures, pull a while loop. the controls to stop the execution of the while loop. Right click. If you have Myrio installed in your system, you should be able to see Myrio option here with all the communication interfaces out here. Let's select pulse width modulation as we have chosen pin number 27 as a PWM pin. Set up using constant uh, input express VI, pin number 27, it's the very important pin. So there are various other PWM pins, but we have chosen pin number 27. Duty cycle, you can set it constant, else you can give a control system to it. As you see, the input to the duty cycle and frequency has to be given and let's control it so let's create a control. And by default, we have the numeric controller, which we can change into uh, the vertical slide controller. We are done with the pulse width modulation. Next, we want to control the motor in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. And this can be done using the digital out pin. As you already know, pin number 11, go to this plus sign, which adds pin number 13. So we have two pins for high and low configuration. So let's right click, create control. It's a Boolean control, right click, create a control. You also see the arrow mark is not broken now. It means the complete program, the circuit is complete. Let's do something with the front panel to give it a little bit of aesthetic look. As I already said, pin number 11 is a Boolean. Pin number 13 is a Boolean pin which gives you on and off. Frequency, let's slide it here. Duty cycle to the left. And let's replace this duty cycle with uh, a vertical fill slide. Looks neat. And let's replace the frequency 2 with the vertical fill slide. Pin number 11, let's increase the size of the toggle switch for a better control, easy control. Let's increase the size of a toggle switch, let's 
little down with the lower arrow mark key and to stop the execution of the loop looks better right let's name it DC motor control using lab view space my Rio. and we can change this application font by going to style let's make it bold let's go to size make it uh, around 24 looks neat and the toggle pins switching on and off and yes we are all set to run the program now the connection for the entire system is now ready to be tested we have uh, National Instruments Myrio, the H bridge and the motors along with the power supply interconnected to each other for the complete testing. Make sure that the enable pin, the INT1, INT2 pins are connected to Myrio. And a use of power supply 6 to 12 volts. We are currently using a 6 volt 1500 milliampere hour battery which would be capable enough to run this motor in the clockwise as well as the anti-clockwise direction. As you already saw in the program, we have the digital output for pin 11 and pin 13 and a pulse width modulation signal for pin number 27 wherein the duty cycle has been controlled and the frequency has been controlled. The duty cycle ranges from 0 to 100 and uh, the pin 11 and pin 13 has been controlled with a high low and low high configuration. If pin 11 is higher, the motor will rotate in the clockwise direction and if pin 13 is higher, it rotates in the anti-clockwise direction. Let's run the program for now and let's initiate pin number 11 with the toggle pin. And you can see the motor rotating in a single direction. Let's reverse the direction of the motor just by changing the pin. And when pin number 13 is activated, it rotates in the anti-clockwise direction. Well, it's easy enough, right? See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.